how has this affected my daughter in my eyes? I don't know how it's affected her herself, um, but how, what I think is I think uh... I'm Jenna Gould. I'm Bronson's mother. Uh, in December of 2017, my son was born prematurely, and he was very sick. We, he was here in the NICU at Maine Medical Center and he lived for eight days and he just was too weak to live and he had ended up passing away. I didn't know that children, infants, passed away as frequently as they do and then I found out that out of the 3.8 million babies that are born a year, over 22,000 die in the first year. We had so much support from our families and we became really close in that week to some of the nurses here and we found out that not all parents have that support. My daughter found that there was nothing for bereaving parents. There was nothing to help the people that went home without the baby instead of the people that went home with the baby. So what she did is she decided to try to do something to help those, those families that were bereaving at that time. So she started the Baby Bronson Project. We really found out there's a lot of people struggling out there, and this isn't talked about a lot. So we're really trying to help the families of the children that are lost and kind of let them know that they're not alone. A lot of people know that Patriot Subaru is a big uh, giver, not only of money, but of time in local organizations and nonprofits and things like that in our community. One of the things that excites me most about doing today's project is that this nonprofit was actually started by uh, our GM and his family, and that's a project that is designed to help moms and the families um, of little babies that don't make it um, cope and get through that situation. And uh, starting that charity for me, um, <clears throat> it's pretty emotional for a family to rather than um, just sort of self-destruct, but to take that situation um, and turn it into something good, um, I don't know how you can't wrap your arms and your heart around that. I talked to my daughter and I said, what can I do? I'd like to walk. I said, I'd like to walk and I'd like to raise money. I'd want to take um, one week to walk and go as far as I can and try to raise money based on miles or, or states or whatever. And my daughter said, that's a great idea, but why don't you walk eight days because that's the number of days that Bronson lived. I said, perfect, we'll walk eight days. parts of my body that have hurt that I didn't even know I had anymore. Uh, <laughs> I just want to thank everybody. Um, the words of encouragement, the inspiration, the donations have been wonderful. I truly, truly appreciate um, the, the reach that everybody has and the shares and, the, and, the, and trying to get as many people involved with this as I can so she can raise money for a wonderful charity of hers. How do I feel this has affected my daughter? Um, I believe that um, she's very, very excited about many things. One of them is that, that the legacy of her firstborn son is going to continue. People are going to be aware of what happened. Um, he'll be a memory in a lot of people's minds because of it. But I also think she's using this to help others. And I think that was really the important thing. I think the hard thing about um, what she went through was that sure you had grief counselors or you have something but then it was then it was over then you had to reach out to people or you had to you had to take that initial step and I think she tried to put something together that allowed people to kind of bereave together as a family um, by by putting some items in a Bronson box that, that they can write down journal entries and and do some things that they can always remember because I think the worst thing is and the scared, where she was most scared is she was just gonna forget and didn't really wanna do that.